Hi everyone, my name is Celine, Wellness Babe here on YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about how to attract butterflies to your garden. Butterflies will love you and flock to your garden if you provide them nectar rich flowers. Some nectar favorites of the monarch butterfly include Mexican flame vine, Mexican sunflower, pentas lantana, and salvias. Always try to use native cultivars in your region to attract butterflies and pollinators. So today I'm going to show you what I've planted in my garden. I have a container garden and I've been able to attract butterflies to my milkweed, which is a host plant for the monarch butterfly. And I will be talking about that next week. So make sure you are subscribed. On to the vlog. We're going to get this lovely plant. Desert Mallow is a nectar source for all the pollinators, but also a host plant to the painted lady butterfly. It's so gorgeous in person. The camera just doesn't do it justice. We added extra drainage holes to this planter for optimal drainage. Today, we are replanting the pentas and the hot lip salvia into a bigger planter. This next plant is called Mexican Sage. It's a very popular plant in Los Angeles. The hummingbirds and butterflies love it. As you can see here, I am replanting this one gallon pot into a five gallon pot. I recently made over the patio and this is what my petunias look like in May. Here is what the petunias look like two months later. Roses and petunias are beautiful but they aren't the best nectar sources for pollinators and they don't prefer them. As I delve deeper into my gardening journey, I am learning more and more about native plants and how important they are for habitat restoration and for our wildlife, especially the butterflies. I chose these three species for this hanging basket. They smell great and are so interesting to look at and they are going to attract so many pollinators. California milkweed. When in bloom, the pollinators will love it. Also acts as a host plant for the monarch caterpillar. Two days later, this monarch caterpillar ate that entire plant. This is why it's so important to plant native milkweed. It's critical for their survival. It's right, it's ready to go. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Come on. Time to fly the nest. <laughs> Ooh, 
You don't want to go very far, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna put you on a flower. Hi. Hello. So that is my garden. Thank you so much for watching this journey. It has been really fun learning and planting and gardening in general. And I just love the butterflies and it's just it's just been so rewarding to see them come and drink and then lay their eggs on the milkweed. If you like butterfly gardening, gardening in general, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Next week, I'll be talking more about host plants and the host plants that I've incorporated into my garden.